Good boy. There's Welcome Caesar. To the show, show. We are with Caesar, our military veteran dog. Three tours, actually, yes. right? <laughs> also, Sergeant Randy Brenner and Officer Juan Rod Rodriguez, who's going to be joining Caesar in some new training going forward. Tell us about this program of taking dogs that have served in our military and the transfer to serving in police units. Well, right now we have the full support of Commissioner Bratton and Chief Fox of the Transit Bureau. And what we're able to do is we're able to partner with the U.S. Army, who runs a program right now where they encourage law enforcement to adopt military working dogs and transition them into police dogs. And it keeps the dogs working because they have a working life left, and that's right. what they love to do. Why did the dogs not stay in the military anymore? Why did they then transition to... The military doesn't like to overuse the dogs. Okay. So they, like he did three tours, they bring him back, and then they'd rather transition him out rather than have him sit and not be deployed. So how, okay. how many dogs sorry, are we talking because about? Because that's the best thing for the dog. Oh, so the to keep of working. The dog. Yeah. So you, we talked earlier, there, how many dogs are down in North Carolina right now that are being implemented into this program? Well, when we got involved with the program, there was 150 that we were going down there to see. By the time we got down there, there were 50 that we saw, we picked Caesar, and I touched base with the liaison from the Pentagon the other day, and he said that they got rid of all of them. Uh, how good are so, these? So are meaning the, all of those dogs All of those dogs were adopted by... Wow. Across the country. Yeah. Yes. How, how good are they at the dogs at detecting explosives or drugs or whatever? It, 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 give us an, an idea of how successful they are. He has 12 legitimate fines. I'm fully confident that if there was something in this room right now Anywhere that he's in the trained room. on, yes, that he would be able to find it it's very easily. It's a good thing easily. Brian just left. <laughs> 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 he might be in he's, he's just <laughs> explosives, he just right? Yeah. He does explosives, but what we're looking for is a behavior change in the dog. There's a certain behavior change in the dog when they actually get the scent, and then they indicate by sitting. Sit. Oh, mm. they're so That's intuitive. And then with this training, they have to be just I mean, remarkable at doing just that. What's, what's a day in the life in this train as they transition? Um, what sort of things will the dogs go through? Well, after training, what we, what we do is we do transit canines. So we're deployed in the New York City subway system. So we do proactive policing with a police dog. That's what our unit does. Um, he will walk around all day during his tour with the, a dog doing proactive policing. Wow. Checking areas and making everybody safe. Now, officer, you have to get to know the dog too, right? Yes, I do. I get to take him home with me. I, I was so. watching him sit down with you when you first walked on, and and, and these folks know I, I have two German shepherds yeah. myself. He just immediately responded to you, but you're new with him. You've only been together a couple of weeks now. Only two. You know, I've had him for a little over two weeks now, but he's he's a very smart dog. He's pre-trained, so I was lucky to get him. So being in the military and uh, being able to work with a, a, a prior military dog is just an honor. Yeah. Well, you certainly have a bond there, you know, that, that is quite similar and loving. What, what are you doing specifically to, to make sure you guys gel right away? Uh, Hang out? I just take care of him. I take him home with me. I brush him every day. Uh, he spends time with, with my family and my son. My son can, can pretty much play with him and lay on him. How old is your son? My son's two years old. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, so, yeah. Nice. And that's a popular misconception about these big dogs that can be aggressive. Some people think that they might not be well-suited for families. But no, as you found out and I found out, they're great with they're, little they're, kids. They're, they're great. He's great with my son. He doesn't uh, knock him over. He, he's very gentle with him. Uh-huh. So he wasn't around. I don't believe he was around children when he was in the military. So sure. Sure. that's a new experience for him, too. Oh. Right. Right. And, and how old is he? Caesar? He's four years old. Four years old. What kind of food? Yes. You were talking about sort of food that... S dry dogs. dog food. S Strictly dry dog mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. I can ask you guys something else for a second. Uh, I'm struck today by... Uh, 20, today marks 21 days since the 1993 World Trade Center bombing. It does. Um, I know you can't get into the political things, mm -hmm. um, the nature of your job, but reflecting on that day and what that means to New York and our, our country... Give me some, give us some thoughts. Well, what you'll see is, from a canine perspective, you'll see a lot more police dogs now than you would see then. Because yeah. we've learned that um, the visibility of a police dog is a deterrent. And having them out there to search areas, it's quite possible he can find something. And at that point, if he finds something, we could evacuate everybody and determine what type of resources we need and that could save lives. A great step forward or four.
Absolutely. Our feet. So <laughs> even in the uh, police force here in, in New York City since that time, 20, 21 years ago, you, do you have more dogs? Much Actually, more. Actually, really. Yes. And, you know, you notice when you walk around uh, office buildings, whether it's in New York or any major city for that matter, you do see a lot more dogs yes. working in airports and other places. And even post-Boston, mm. you'll see more dogs. Mm. Are there dogs Boring that come events, back right? that, you yes. know, are evaluated and aren't? suited to go on and continue to serve that they've done done their duty stay, stay, and stay. and we thank them for that as as in their animal state um but how do you know when a dog certainly isn't ready during their evaluation well we do extensive testing on all the dogs for our operational environment and the way we use dogs every different police department uses dogs differently um that being said, there are dogs that come back and they're just going to be good for pets, and that does happen. They do adopt them out as pets. Okay. And very, they save money, too. It's cheaper, right? Than yeah, other, yeah. Like they absolutely. A whole sure. crew of people looking. They make less than I do. <laughs> they do. <make> less than, <laughs> <laughs> right. we got to leave it there. We're going to say thank you very much to Officer Rodriguez and Sergeant Ben. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Caesar. And Caesar, too. Yeah. Caesar, thank you for your service,